Welcome to the Smart Wellness Lab. I often get asked in interviews about my favourite smart wellness devices or my recommended smart wellness devices and I must confess I am a fan of a gadget. So last year in the 12-month experiment I ran on my own brain and body that's documented in my book Neuron, I use a lot of tech and these are some of my favourite ones and specifically looking at how to monitor and use biofeedback for breathing practices because as you'll know especially if you've if you've read my book or seen any of the other videos breath is a super tool i've been using it with elite sports clients and you know my first exposure was through elite military how they were using breath and music and timing to control anxiety, boost confidence, maintain motivation, improve quality of sleep. You know, that this breathing is a super tool. And I'm not going to go into the mechanics of breathing in this particular video. There's a whole chapter on it in my book. But we're going to look at some of the things that I used when I was doing my breath work practice. And they're not in any particular order. So I'm just going to go that way. And we'll start here with a ring. You don't use all of these, by the way. These are the sizing rings. This is the Ura ring. And I love it. And I have to say, before I go any further, I'm not paid by any of these companies. I like these devices. And so that's why I'm talking to you about them. This monitors my sleep, my body temperature, my breathing rate, my heart rate variability, which is a key indicator when you're doing breathing practice, um, my daily activity, my sleep cycles. It's a very, very clever thing. But what I like most about it is that I hardly ever have to charge it. Compared to the wearables that I used to use to get all those data points, I used to have to charge those watches a lot, whereas I hardly ever have to charge this because it doesn't have a display and displays drain the battery. And I also, I didn't want another wearable on my wrist. I've already got wearables. I've got my favorite watch that I like. I, you know, I, I don't really want extra wearables on my wrist that I have to wear all day. So this ring was a very, 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 very good purchase. But do take note that there is an import, import tax. If you're buying this in the UK, you will get a letter from through the door from Her Majesty's uh, Customs and Excise personnel after you've bought the ring, asking for more money. So just make sure that you've budgeted accordingly. I, but this I. I, this is the best thing I've bought, honestly. I love it. It's brilliant. And that this, the way it, it kind of syncs with the app on my phone in the morning, it's brilliant. But also for breathwork practice, there is a, a functionality on this, on the app, where you can take a moment, it's called, and take some time out and just do some breathing um, practice with the timer that is set up in the, in the app. And then you can get a score of your heart rate variability afterwards. So it is super cool. Highly recommend it. Ooh, a ring. Then this little device here, which is a wearable. And having just said that I don't want wearables on my wrist, I only use this when I'm doing my, my breath work practice. This is the Vegas watch. And it has settings in there so, you, so that you can actually do some breathing practice but it also has the ability to measure the respiratory sinus arrhythmia score which shows how your heart rate and your breathing are synchronizing and if you have a healthy vagus nerve a healthy functioning vagus nerve good vagal tone then your heart rate and your breathing rate will be very very closely synchronized that's a good sign um, so this vagus watch actually enables you to do that. And I found that really useful when I was 
trying to get into the habit of using resonance frequency breathing to to really improve my heart rate variability a lot and it's really easy to use it's ecg you just have to make a connection while you're doing your breath breathing practice or when you're doing the the rsa test it's quick it's really easy so that is another great purchase and it syncs with the app so you can look back over your scores and trends and things like that this one in the middle which doesn't have a box in this lineup because the box is at home but these are earphones that um they're sennheiser earphones and they are wireless and i have used them a lot they are great quality easy to fit in your bag the box the case charges you do have to be careful that it doesn't automatically connect with your phone if it's in the same bag because when i first got them i realized that every time i took them out the battery was flat because it was accidentally connecting with my phone and then and then draining the battery so you have to be careful of that but they are super neat little headphones that have got a rubber seal here so they form and the, you get different sizes of this as well so you can get a right fit for your ear super 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 neat and as you know music is a great way to practice your breathing your breath work okay if you're using slowing down your breathing pick a playlist that's got slow songs and then just practice inhales and exhales in time to the music if you're doing resonance frequency breathing or you're doing four six ratio ratio breathing in particular it's a bit harder to find a playlist for that there are apps um, that will enable you to to set up that four six breathing ratio so you're exhaling longer than you're inhaling so that you're really training that that vagus nerve to kind of step in and keep you in that relaxation mode parasympathetic nervous system the vagus nerve so um there are uh, i'm actually talking to some very talented music experts right now to put together some playlists that are four six ratio so that there is an equivalent like musical playlist that that will help you keep that breathing rate for for many minutes because if i asked you to speak if if i asked you to breathe at a certain rate for four minutes it will feel like four hours time sometimes goes very slowly if when i'm doing this to soundscape or a particular playlist that's a particular tempo it's much easier the time goes a lot quicker it just seems less of an effort quite frankly when i'm when i'm using music when i'm doing my breath practice so then here we've got the elite hrv core sense which is another heart rate variability sensor you pop it on your finger like that while you're doing your breathing training and it gives you a real time heart rate variability score you can see your heart rate and your heart rate variability as you're as you're doing the the breath work session and that's really useful biofeedback you can see how effective this is and it's really good as well when you're trying to calculate your resonance frequency for maximum effect with your breathing with your vagus nerve to improve your vagal tone to find your precise resonance frequency you need to really know your heart rate variability response to, to different breathing rates. And this is an excellent way of doing that because in the app, you can set different timings of inhales and exhales, and then you can see the corresponding result on your heart rate variability score um, reading as you do it. So that is also very, very good. And then here, slightly different approach. This is the Muse headband. So you put this on like so, which I may have to take my little hat off. So it goes behind the ears like that, which uh, there you go. I look like some kind of superhero now, maybe. And so you need to get the right fit so that the app picks up 
the activity in your brain. And what is brilliant about this little bit of biofeedback is that it helps you slow down your brain waves, slowing down your thoughts. It also uses sound because the, the biofeedback that you get can be audio. So I can hear when the soundscape is getting busy, 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 busy. I know that I'm not successfully keeping out thoughts and I'm not successfully, you know, keeping control over that. So I can then shift my focus back and quieten down that soundscape using controlling my, my brain waves. So I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a sound happening right now. It was the sound of a drill outside, but now it's stopped. So again, this is the Muse 2 headband. This is this is a great what what I find really useful about these when you're in the early days of practicing these smart wellness principles is that it gives you feedback and it and it helps you because otherwise when it's very difficult if you're just breathing there and and well I think I'm I'm breathing at five seconds inhales and exhales or I'm breathing at four second inhales six second exhales from doing four six ratio for instance it kind of feels you know you might feel a bit more relaxed because you are relaxing you're slowing down your heart rate you're engaging the parasympathetic nervous system but it's it's much easier in the early stages to to get into this kind of practice if you've got a bit of feedback and that is where these tech gadgets step in to help you by showing you precisely what is happening with your biology as you're doing the different breath work and then further down the line you don't need these so much i, I use these a lot at the beginning of my um, of my journey um, of my 12 month experiment I use these a lot because I was really really trying to ma ma you know transform my wellness scores once I had achieved that over sort of six months then I used them less because I'm still doing the breathwork training but now I'm doing it as part of my habit of my daily routine so I'm not really thinking about it and I'm not necessarily needing the feedback because I know it works I know what it does so I just have to do it and it's in my daily habits so it just happens the only thing I'm still doing on a daily basis is syncing my Ura ring so that I can just see where I'm at with my heart rate variability score my sleep activity heart rate and so on so i hope you found this useful some of you might already have some of these and um or some of you might have been thinking of making a purchase with with one or more of these and as you know if you've read my book or or seen my other videos i i cancelled my gym membership and used the money i saved on gadgets that help me transform my my wellness now once once you've made that initial investment then you're saving money after that because you only have to buy them once and and if if you get to the point where you use them and then you've you've nailed it and so it's like well i know what i'm doing now in my practices i no longer need to use these so much then you can sell them on and get some money back so it's all good and next time I'll show you some of my other favorite gadgets for building brain cells using music and technology and artificial intelligence. So I'll see you then.